Hey everybody, it's Alex here from Android Headlines and today we're taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy S4 Active on AT&T and the Samsung Galaxy S4 on Verizon. Carriers don't really matter in this video, but just so you know they're on two different carriers and they're basically the same phone. There's a couple differences. Of course, the S4 Active is waterproof and dustproof while the Galaxy S4 is not. Um, the S4 Active has an LCD display, 1080p, unlike the S4, which has a 1080p AMOLED display. Then when you go on to the back, you've got an 8 megapixel on the Active and 13 on the Galaxy S4. Um, other than that, the software is basically the same. It's Android 4.2.2 with their latest TouchWiz. Um, you should be able to move stuff to that micro SD card slot like you can with the newest Galaxy S4. Yeah, there we go. You can move all kinds of apps over to the micro SD. You can just select them all. Or I guess you can't. Huh, well that's actually got to do it individually. But I don't have a micro SD card in there right now, so it's not going to move them anyways. Uh, so you have that update already enabled, which while we're in there, let's take a look at the storage and see what we have. So it comes with 16 gigabytes, and 10 gigabytes are available. That's a little bit better than on the Galaxy S4, where we have... Where is it? It's um, it's like around 9 gigabytes on the Galaxy S4 because I do have some apps installed on this one. This isn't complete factory reset and nothing but bloatware on here. So I'm trying to think of how much was on there. It was like 9 point something. I'll have to put a link into my Galaxy S4 review so we can check that out when I put this up on the site. Um, other than that, the Galaxy S4 Active is basically the same as the S4. You got your three clicky home buttons here. Of course, you get sounds from everything you do on the phone. And the Galaxy S4 just has the one clicky button. But we'll be doing an entire phone war between these two phones to see which one is better. Which one should you get? Of course, that really only matters if you're on AT&T. Uh, there's going to be a full review. There's going to be a whole lot of other content. So make sure you stay tuned to AndroidHeadlines.com.